Welcome to Rauda's Classic Reviews. This time we travel all the way to 1995, Sweden. Now when I got to um, learn my first black metal bands in the early and mid 90s, this one was actually one of the first ones which I probably found through some uh, compilation. I am not exactly sure how and when and doesn't really matter but this is from the 90s when everything was kind of a fresh and to be honest back then it wasn't just Norwegian black metal it was just black metal yes definitely Norwegian bands and Swedish bands were dominating a lot of a lot of the scene but however um, back then it wasn't anyway clear to me that you should only follow Norwegian bands or whatever what mattered is is if the uh, aesthetics was right there to complement the music you would call black metal. If there was lyrics which would also uh, complement the whole thing all the better. So the album of the month, the classic album of the month is Tusen Or Har Gott by Mörg Gröning. Mörg Gröning roughly translates to um, Dark Dawn, Mörg, Mörg being, you know, dark and um, Tusen Orha God is something like thousand years has gone. Anyway, this is how it looks. This is that's the original one I bought back in the days, released by No Fashion Records back in the day, Swedish, Sweden, and uh, House of Kicks. And as you can see, it's almost like 50% uh, Swedish, 50% uh, English. And this is how it looked back in the days. And I still have the very original CD, well, in good shape, it seems. I don't have the habit of, you know, leaving CDs laying around, so they almost always go rather scratchless. This cover already um, took me by the grasp. I mean, there is this certain kind of a devilish feeling uh, on the image. And when you take a look at the uh, track list, there is definitely something speaking in this one also and there you might f see some um, no names for example Dan Svan uh, famous for many many important bands in Sweden and inside well what we have here is rather traditional 1990s look corpse paints we have some nature image and obviously we have these lyrics some of them once again in Swedish and some of them in uh, English and definitely these kind of lines here Christian race is devastated delivering the 1990s black metal blow all right uh, let's take a look on the band's metal archive site now some people might be wondering so why in the hell I ended up doing a Mergruning review some 25 years after the album is out well the answer is very, very simple. It's because of this um, sixth album, Hinsi des Vrede, which just came out and hopefully is on its way to Rauta for review as well. Now, I like the new album, but I'm going to talk about that in its own review. But what I didn't like as much as, you know, the first album, as, as well as the Return Fire Dead, the second album was these couple of albums that came out quite soon after the first two ones. I mean, obviously we changed from 90s to early 2000s, but something also changed with the band. I know the dynamic songwriting compositions were just different. And when I saw the band, I think it was early 2000s in my home city, it just feel, it didn't feel like the same band. So I kind of, uh, I don't know, walked away from the band, yet I kept these two first albums because I liked them so much. Now, back in the days, it Feel, felt like this is not one of the first bands of the so-called second wave of black metal. I mean, it was 1995 when this um, first album came out. And already in the years before that, I mean, lots of bands were pushing albums out. Very much like early 90s, you know, everything was happening in Norway, such in a quick pace that Mercuring almost felt like a, a new band to the club, even though nowadays, when you take a hindsight, it's basically, that's just the same era. I mean, 95 or 93 don't make a difference now. 
But back in the days, you know, you, you felt like there was a difference whether or not the band was out 1992 or 1993 versus 1995, 1996. So it was like uh, there was the pioneers and the latecomers. But like said, now when you take a look at it, it doesn't really matter. Year, year, year there or not doesn't matter. It's all the same era, basically. Now, what got me interested in Mörgrüning is that First of all, it's one of those very, very Swedish sounding black metal bands. It's very melodic, it's kind of a fast tempo, and it's very, very catchy. Now, sometimes with the old albums, when you go back and you go them because of nostalgia and all that, you feel like, okay, this wasn't as good as I was hoping for, as good as I remembered it to be. But with Tusen Orha God, I think it's very, very much the same as it was back in the days. I still like these kind of melodies a lot. And mind you, I don't like all the bands, most bands with melodic approach to black metal. There are bands like Dissection, which I just love. There are albums like The Mysteristum Satanas, which I just adore big time. I can enjoy older Dark Funeral and stuff like that, but most black metal bands gone melodic are like kind of a cheesy, kind of like too sweet for my mouth. You know, it's like a candy, which is like, oh, this is way too sweet, way too sugary. But Mörgrüning just managed to nail it beautifully. I mean, there is something that is also very, very dark, very, very sinister, and at the same time catchy and melodic. So they have all the right tools, all the right elements in all the right order. They have found the kind of a perfect or near perfect balance when it comes to uh, creating these riffs. And on top of that, this album lasts only like 33 minutes, so it doesn't get you that stuffed. I mean, once you're done with it, you're just like, hey, maybe I'll go for another plate if you allow my food and eating comparison here. I know a little bit of eating, not being a small guy. Anyway, now, before this review, obviously, I was giving it a multiple listens because there has been way too many years since the last time, and I was enjoying it to the full. I mean, it kind of approved that I wasn't just, you know, uh, going with this nostalgia factor, like, hey, it well, used to be good, and yeah, it used to, but it still, you know, speaks to me like it was 1995 all over again. This feels fresh and at the same time kind of old both in a, you know, very balanced ways. Very, very good production, good vocals, and just top-notch songwriting. I really couldn't ask for more when it comes to melodic black metal. Maybe this isn't exactly Storm of the Lights Bane, which I guess is my all-time favorite when it comes to melodic black metal, but this is pretty goddamn close to it. I mean, it's a great album and still one of the best melodic black metal albums to come from Sweden all time. Really, really good album, which I, I think deserves listen this day as well as back in the 1990s. So will the new album be as good? I somehow doubt it, but then again, I have only given it one listen, so who knows? Anyway, Mörgrüning is back, and I'm grateful for that. And meanwhile, you are waiting for the new album to get your hands on. Take a listen to the Mörgrüning debut, and I hope you enjoy it. Should you have comments or opinions, questions, put them in the comments box below and I will get back to you. Take care, my friends, and see you soon with more reviews coming your way.